I'm gonna love you What's going on everybody? My name is Wolverguy. Welcome to the Friday Weekly Update. This is going to be a really short video because uh, this is pretty, pretty much going to be a recap of Wednesday. Um, nothing has really dropped on uh, Madden Ultimate Team, but we're going to get into it. I'm not going to play an online game today because I got a lot of shit I got to do today. So, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. There's no new objectives, so that's done out of the way. Um, we're going to go into solo challenges. There is really nothing other than the boss battle stuff. The stuff for the weekend is here, so make sure to do those. Easy coins as usual. And um, they had the contract uh, challenge as well. So that is done out of the way pretty much for me. I just got to do the boss battle stuff uh, for the packs and the stuff that are in the store. I did pull the rest of my, um, what you want to call it, uh, Fan appreciation packs didn't get anything out of it. I don't know. I might pull a Le Legends Fantasy pack to see if I can pull anything. I, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna. I'm gonna pull this daily pack real quick too. So it's still all the same packs from Wednesday. If you saw Wednesday, nothing's changed. They brought out the game changer packs, which are honestly pretty garbage in my opinion. They're not that very good. Uh, and then they had the fantasy packs and all that other stuff. The bundles. I think they have the. Uh, I think they have the bundle for the game changers right now as well, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, they do. Times 10, and then that's the only bundle they have. The rookie premiere stuff, blockbuster supporting pack, um, all that stuff right there. So, we're going to say fuck it. We're going to drop 90k and get this fantasy pack and see what I pull out of this pack. Hopefully it's something good. Uh, we only get one gold. Uh, we'll just do that. Okay, round two. 86, 82, 79, 84, and an 85. I'll actually take that one because that will sell for decent. And I will take. I guess I'll take you. Okay. 85, 88. 86 Troy Vincent unfortunately and an 85 Rodney Harrison so I got fucked with uh, mid 80s uh, I don't know uh, th honestly this really doesn't matter because all these cards are gonna go like shit so I'm just gonna buy that because I haven't done the Washington challenges yet and uh, that was kind of a shit pack. That was, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to pull any more of these fantasy packs. Uh, because those are really garbage. Even when there's Ultimate Legends, like, uh, live, it, it don't mean shit. It is just straight, it is just straight ass, pretty much. And uh, if I went to go buy a rookie premiere, you get two silver better, two gold or better, and one elite. So, uh, a 92 premiere player, but that's... If you need 92 players, they're really cheap. So the only card that was actually worth out of that pack is probably uh, that DJ Moore I got. And I used to have that card a long time ago and I sold them. Actually, um, it may have been his 90, I'm not sure. No, it was, it was probably his 85. So you got, most of these cards go for 12, 13K uh, because they're still pretty popular right now because people are trying to get them together for um, sets and uh, other stuff you can do with the NFL draft cards. So I'm gonna sell this for 12 grand and uh, get a little bit of my money back, I guess. So that is uh, what the packs are looking like in uh, right now in Madden 18 Ultimate Team. I'm really hoping the packs in 19 are a little bit more fire because these are this year just, was pretty much just hold the L most of the time. And just like that, my DJ Moore sold. Um, no new sets, really. They had a fan appreciation uh, pack that I did. If you guys want to know all about that, I will uh, go check out Wednesday's video. But other than that, there's nothing really too new. I was thinking of doing that power-up boost uh, pack, but I don't know if I really want to or not because uh, it's from, like, all the previous... Uh, programs that they had and 
it uh it wasn't too good and i can't remember where it is exactly uh i believe it's in the token exchange yeah right here so if you did it you need two elites two golds and three silver tokens and you get um team of the week most feared men harvest zero chill team of the year nfl combine my heroes one and two and easter scramble so uh this has pretty much been updated since like easter and there's been plenty of promos afterwards so in this case really not worth it in my opinion it, you're just gonna get a bunch of shit cards and you're dropping pretty much like uh 100k on elite cards to get those or the elite tokens even if you buy them and then you're looking at 60k on gold and then probably like 15k on silver because uh, it doesn't really matter silver is really cheap to get but to do the elite stuff is that's where the money maker is And I did that set a long time ago when it was still good So uh, not not really worth it in my opinion and uh, last thing is I'm gonna show you guys my lineup if you guys missed it on Wednesday I'll show you guys my lineup one more time uh, So this week uh, also if uh, nothing changes from Friday to Wednesday next week, there's gonna be um, There's gonna be no midweek update maybe a friday video i don't know we'll see but uh anyways we got pretty much everyone in the backfield is still the same receivers are still the same i picked up antonio gates so he's the new addition to the tight end if you guys missed that and then um the line uh, or the offensive line still the same defensive line uh ryan chazier is the new man at middle linebacker and ray lewis this guy these these guys right here are a fucking combo i tell you what um and then still have steve atwater i think i'm gonna save up to try and get like i don't i don't know even who i should pick up as free safety but i want to upgrade that eventually uh i got my marcus joiner this card is really not that bad pretty good card in my opinion uh still got night train lane marlon humphreys and champ bailey those will be the corner squad for the rest of the year and then uh i got 99s on the D-line other than Demarcus Lawrence. I'm thinking of getting Jason Pierre-Paul. I don't know if I should get a left end or a safety. Uh, this Demarcus Lawrence isn't bad, but um, he's got a times three, so I I, I don't know what uh, if I want to go with JPP or if I want to go with somebody else. And then uh, still at the same kicker, same punter situation. So that is my lineup, guys. And that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know this was kind of quick. If you guys have any comments, questions, and all that stuff, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try and help you guys out. Also, if you guys missed it, uh, I did open up a Discord uh, servers. So if you guys want to go check those out, uh, a link in the description down below and uh, all that stuff too. So with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend on top of that. I will see you guys Monday, possibly, if not Monday, Tuesday with The Last of Us. We're going to move on. I don't even know where the hell I'm at in that series. <laughs> but with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. See you later.